Are you looking for work in Vietnam? Have you thought about working in Vietnam in the future, but you don't know where to start? So this video is definitely for you. In this video, we're going to talk about the Vietnam job market, also the salaries, and then of course, which location is most suitable for the type of work that you want to do. So I'm standing here in front of M Plaza on Le Yung, which is uh, a lot of the buildings from the Dutch house to the Saigon Tower. Many of the offices are located in this central area. Even behind you is the French and the US consulate. So my name is Ken Jung with over 13 years of experience helping individuals work, live and retire all over the world. I also get second citizenships in Grenada, Portugal, United States, Greece, and many, many other parts of the world. But today I know many of you have questions about getting a job and working in Vietnam. And that's the video we're going to talk about today. Before we get started on this video, make sure that you stay updated on all of the information by clicking the bell for notifications and subscribing to a YouTube channel. So the first thing I want to talk about is where do you go to find these particular jobs within your industry? So we have three main websites that we always promote to our clients finding different jobs. So the first one is Vietnam Works. If you're just looking for general work like English, administrative, office work, HR, then you want to go to VietnamWorks.com. The second one, if you are looking to work in the technology field or uh, technology medium to higher end and uh, managerial positions, then you want to look at job jobhoppin.com. So jobhoppin would be the second option. And the third one, if you are a manager or an executive working abroad and you want to transfer or lateral to Vietnam, then you want to look at 40hours.com, which is a 40-hour HR executive placement company. And those are the three main websites that you should go in order to find specialized jobs suitable for you. You can look on the screen to see some of the other websites that have postings as well, such as careerbuilder.com, careerbuilder.vn, also vn.indeed.com. So many of these sites also provide jobs globally, but also in Vietnam, and then looking at the specialized three sites that we told you about. So a second way to also find jobs is through social media. Facebook groups like expats in Ho Chi Minh City, jobs in, and internships in Ho Chi Minh City, and other job groups in Facebook. And of course, as a global platform, LinkedIn is a great way to find jobs because it's all in English. Many of the HR managers are posting in there as well. And of course, there are LinkedIn jobs that you can actually find specifically to your needs. Another way is you can also do uh, offline networking as well, such as the American Chamber of Commerce, Young Presidents Organization, Business Networking International, and of course we have the Ken Coffee's uh, networking every single Friday from 8 to 9.30, and we have Miss V, our marketing assistant, to host along with another host. So you should definitely come and check that out as well. So those are the three ways online and offline for you to be able to find a job in Vietnam. After you find the place to find jobs, you gotta look at your skill sets and also which industries are hot and in demand in Vietnam. So there are three main industries that are going from top down the central government to push for Vietnam. Number one, if you're looking into IT, software development, or possible hardware development as well, Vietnam is digital industrialization 4.0, web 3.0, and IoT. So all of that relates to programming and also software development. So if you're in that field or in that area, Vietnam is a great place right now. We have a lot of startup companies. Uh, we have well-established companies and multinational corporations in the technology and software space. Local software developers and digital strategists working with international enterprises. Therefore, Vietnam needs manpower in positions like professional software developer trainers, digital marketing specialists, automation experts, and other areas. The second area is Vietnam is still one of the top manufacturing countries in the world, both low end and also high end and future will be high tech. So if you are a manufacturing such as supply chain, logistics, warehouse manager, CNC machine operator, and also other manufacturing based technologies, then you should also look to find work in Vietnam for many different corporations. Nevertheless, if setting up a factory is not your goal, you can still work as a quality control engineer, sourcing agent, or business relationship manager. Education. The development of education in Vietnam is the number one priority. 
almost every subject, not only in public schools, but also in international schools, use English as part of the mandatory curriculum. Therefore, many teaching jobs are available if you are a native English-speaking teacher. The second item to consider is what are employers looking for in an expat or foreign employee? So the first thing is you're looking at a diploma. Just like anywhere in the world, even amongst locals, you have to have at least your GED and then having a bachelor's degree in a specialty area would really help you. Looking at another item is the work permit. So either you have a work permit with another company or you can apply for a work permit with the company you plan to work for. Take a look at some of the options and also the requirements of getting a work permit. We'll go into specific details. To get a work permit in Vietnam, you must meet the following requirements. Be over 18 years old. Have a good health condition that satisfies the job's specific demands and requirements. Free of any criminal record in their country or a national security offense. Not currently facing criminal prosecution or not serving a criminal sentence by the Vietnamese and foreign policemen during the assignment. Meet the requirements for the job positions for Vietnam work permit as follows. For foreign experts, have a bachelor's degree or higher or equivalent and a certificate of at least three years of experience working in the trained field relevant to the job position the foreigner is expected to work for in Vietnam. Or having a certificate of at least five years of experience Working in the trained field relevant to the job position the foreign worker is expected to work for in Vietnam. Technical workers. Having been trained in technical or other fields for at least one year and having worked for at least three years in that field. Or having a certificate of at least five years of working experience in a job suitable for the position expected to be worked in Vietnam. The company where the foreigner is working has a suitable line of business on its business registration certificate. For directors and CEOs, you will need decision on the appointment and having a certificate of at least three years of working experience in the relevant position. And of course, if you're looking to work as a manager in Vietnam, you definitely at least two years of experience management abroad. Or if you're looking for um, starting start positions or entry positions, then most likely Vietnam won't be an option for you because Vietnam is looking for managerial positions, so at least two years of experience. Before we talk about more jobs in Vietnam, we want to make sure that we talk about work visas and work permits, because if you want to work long term in Vietnam, you got to make sure you have one of those two items or both in order to be able to work long term with a company and stay in Vietnam from one to three years. So after you found a suitable job, you got to look at some of the other requirements. And these are some of the items that we can provide you. One is labor contract review, apply for work permit or apply for work visa, advising on the employment laws, tax laws, and also what your rights are as a foreign employee working in Vietnam. But let's jump to the main point that you're concerned about, and that is salary. So regarding salaries in Vietnam, uh, you got to separate between the local pay and also the international pay and then depending on your experience. So for example, a new uh, graduate would be making between $500 to $1,000 a month depending on positions and degrees. Someone more established or having a managerial position could make between $2,000 to $5,000 per month. As an expat, you are going to look at yourself between two to $10,000 per month depending on your managerial role the industry you're in, and also your experience level. Now that you have a legal contract in Vietnam, what are some of the tax implications that you need to consider? So first, in order to establish a tax in Vietnam, you have to look at three items to establish residency. One is you lived in Vietnam 183 days out of the year, and you'll be subjected to the taxation and also possible worldwide taxation. Two is if the 12 month period that you've been working, you lived and worked in Vietnam. Or three is if you have a lease that is longer than 90 
days in Vietnam, those three will be sufficient in order to establish a residency for tax purposes. Vietnam has, uh, similar to Singapore, United States, and many other countries, a progressive tax system that ranges from zero to 35%, depending on your monthly salary. So that's something you need to think about as well as we follow up with other tax matters for you. So you also have some of your other standard deductions based on working, such as health, social insurance, uh, personal allowances, and other fringe benefits that you may be using at your workplace. Non-residents are subject to a flat 20% tax on their income. Individuals have to obtain a tax code and submit a tax registration file to the employer, who subsequently offers it to the IT office. Tax year in Vietnam runs from January 1st to December 31st. Yearly income VND tax rate up to 60 million is 5%, 60 to 120 million is 10%, 120 to 216 million 15%, 216 to 384 million 20%, 384 to 624 million is 25%, 624 to 960 million is 30%, anything over 960 million dong per year is 35%. So finally you found a job, but you gotta actually look at which location you should be working in or which city. So we have the top three cities in Vietnam based on population, GDP growth, and opportunities. So the first city I want to talk about definitely is the economic capital, which is Ho Chi Minh City here in the south, to where we are right now in District 1. The reason why Ho Chi Minh City is a great place to work is the lifestyle, the different multinational corporations in various industries, such as FMCG, or fast-moving consumer goods, technology, banking, professional services, such as legal, accounting, marketing. It has a plethora and diverse areas of industries that you can work in and the salary ranges as well. But also it's a great lifestyle that is more suitable for international expats working in Vietnam. The only real drawback when looking for jobs in Ho Chi Minh or in Vietnam in general is that there aren't that many jobs available in the heavy industry. For example, if you have a background as a hardware engineer or sales engineer in automotive, you'll find it very difficult to find jobs in Ho Chi Minh City. That said, Ho Chi Minh probably has the most opportunities for you. The second city, of course, would be Hanoi, which is the capital of Vietnam. It's the cultural and the political center of Vietnam. Therefore, the jobs that are more related to government relations, public relations, dealing with government agencies, and of course, international or local non-government, non-profit sectors, then Hanoi would be a great place for you to go. And culturally, there are a lot of musicals, operas, and cultural activities and events in Hanoi that if you enjoy that lifestyle, Hanoi would be much better for you. Not to forget, Vietnam's car brand, VinFast, has its headquarters and production in Hai Phong, which is located approximate to Hanoi. If you want to pursue a career in automotive or at an embassy, then Hanoi might be the best option. Just keep in mind that the salaries are generally lower here and also the living costs. And finally, the third city, but not the least, is Da Nang in central Vietnam. Da Nang has been positioned as the technology or uh, driven province. So it has great infrastructure, has good internet, research and development. Da Nang University is great as well. So many of the multinational corporations are setting up headquarters or at least second offices within Da Nang for you to be able to work. And of course, Da Nang has beaches, mountains, and very nice roads for you to travel and enjoy nature while working in a big city. So that is our third city that we would recommend you be able to work in. Local companies in FPT software have opened offices here and it's become a hub for IT outsourcing. One of the benefits of living in Da Nang is that it's not only a resort city, but has a well-functioning economy. Many people who get tired of the pollution and many scooters in Ho Chi Minh move to Da Nang for a more peaceful atmosphere and tranquility. On top of that, prices are roughly 30% lower in Da Nang compared to Ho Chi Minh, looking at rents, restaurant visits, and more. With that said, you won't find as many opportunities in Da Nang compared to Ho Chi Minh, but it's still worth giving a try. 
Okay, is that enough information for you to decide whether you're ready to work, find a job, and be here in Vietnam? Uh, comment below. Let us know if we're missing other information for you to make your consideration. But if you're ready to move to Vietnam, contact us. We'll be happy to help you find a job, work on your work permit, and your work visa in order to work here long term. So on behalf of Young Global, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and continue to follow us as we try to bring you the best information possible about living, working, and retiring in Vietnam. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. So the first thing, oh, the next subjects, oh, wait, back. implications, oh wait, I did that.